Hey guys, it's Lauren here, popping in today to share a layout using mostly the Coco Vanilla Studio Unforgettable collection. I'm also using a splash of Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals and some Heidi Swap Texture Paste. Um, that's that holy swap texture paste is pretty old school I'm thinking it's metallic texture paste I'm also using some uh, clear stamps from iHeart Studio and yeah I'm just gonna have some fun with you guys today and put together a bit of a mixed media layout highlighting a special little photo that I captured of my daughter and two of her friends when they woke up after a sleepover here at my house and they were just chilling in bed and I captured this little moment I thought it was delightful I'd made the photo black and white using just an, a photo editing app that I use and I really sort of punched out the contrast a bit just to get those blacks really really black um yeah I sometimes when I some I, I really like to play with my contrast especially when doing with black and white photos because if I make those blacks really nice and black I know that it, it's sort of going to help sharpen the photo as well but I'm also mindful that if we have too much too many black elements on a photo it can be hard with our embellishments to sort of blend them all in and and um, so I'm mindful of that so I thought I'm just going to start by playing around with the Lindy Stamp gang magical powders just a couple of colors there and I'm just going to blend them together add some water wishy wash them around as I'm drying off I'm going to move the product around as well to make sure I'm getting different tones and sort of different levels in my in my background the beautiful thing about the magicals is the more powder you apply the richer the pigment so the the stronger it is the better it gets the more you water it down the lighter it will be which allows you to sort of being a bit of control around how dark you want the colors and what the colors can actually do I've got a little that's why I'm just grabbing my brush here and I'm just moving things where I want it to be just using my finger to blot out any lines I've gessoed my white cardstock the gesso is that barrier that we need when we're using mixed media products on our pages and that just stops the product from soaking through um, so that allows you that little bit of flexibility to move your product around adding some splatters there just with the end of the brush um, and a bit of water um, the just a tip with the brush if you want really big droplets use a big brush with really big bristles so it soaks up the water and when it's a drop it really has a droplet and if you want those really light intricate little splatters here and there use a really thin brush and do lots of light tapping I've just added some watered down white acrylic paint. I just use that and a really thin brush to add some little bit of white sparkle there as well. I just really wanted to sort of have a bit of fun with this background and it's come together really well there. I love those colours, those pinks and oranges and they sort of blend, they blend well together and I think, I don't know, I'm really drawn to those kind of colours at the moment. I I think there's a few collections out um, that use those colours. This unforgettable collection. There's a even even to the new crepe paper collection. I think the honey and spice collection by uh, Heidi Swap that kind of uses these colours as well. And another collection I've really picked up and fallen in love with is the again and again again. Um, the Again and Again collection by Pink Paisley and that has some of those similar tones as well it also has Pops of Navy in it which is good if you've got wanting you know got some boys in your household um, and wanting those Pops of Navy as well so there's a few collections that I'm falling in love with at the moment and here it is this is an iHeart Studio stamp just a clear stamp it's a really nice one it's got some intricate little flowers sort of that doodly kind of Joanna Basford kind of feel to it and I just wanted to sort of have them poking out from the out around the edges of the photo so you can see some of them have overlapped there but as soon as I put that photo down you can see you can't see that overlapping and it just makes that you know background a little bit more magical and once again in my usual style I'm just trying to create dimension and different levels from my background through to my photo so I'm going to try and create dimension without creating too much height I've been able to achieve that with some mixed media product and some acrylic stamps 
So here I am now thinking about my photo and the embellishments. This is this these pieces of paper are from the uh, Coco Vanilla Studio Six by Eight Unforgettable Pad. I love these little paper stack things things especially if you're wanting smaller pieces to fussy cut like I'm doing here now I'm on super sonic speed at the moment because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me fussy cutting everything I'd already because I've used I've used this pro paper arrange and collection on a, another project I'd already fussy cut out heaps and heaps of the little butterflies so they're there in a little snap lock bag ready for me to go um, on any any future layouts there I like to fussy cut all those little bits and pieces sometimes when I'm watching a movie sitting on the couch and then I get a little bag of ephemera that's only cost me the price of a piece of paper and they come they come in handy for what I'm doing now if I want to create a quick layout those embellishments are already fussy cut and yeah it's given me something to do while I'm watching a good flick yeah do you guys do that do you guys do have any scrapbooking or paper crafts in your hand while you're um watching movies and doing things like that let me know in the comments below if you do i'm up for anything that sort of keeps my hands moving and keeps my mind active when when i'm stationary so i really really open to new ideas and tips and tricks once again here i am i'm just layering up my photo using just some of the six by eight paper paper oh sorry put some of the bit six by eight paper pad there and this here is a really cute little one here it is just a little black and white well it's not really a polka dot they're kind of like little dashes another favorite um pay, piece of paper that i grabbed out of the collection was the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet i always love that to grab a cut apart sheet because you know you get so much on it and especially maybe if you're on a tight budget and can't afford the ephemera pack the cut apart sheet is a really cost effective way of getting some really great ephemera pieces you just have to spend a bit of time cutting it out grabbing an old book just heading down to your local um like antique shop or your local um second hand place you'll so often find a stash of old books and i've got one that i've just keep there and I just tear a page out here and there and I use it just to mount photos and add a little bit of a pattern piece there without you know you don't have to share too much of it but it's a nice little interest point there so as you can see I've triple clip layered that uh, photo and that's really because I really wanted that dimension and I really wanted it not to get lost in those busy flowers or that mixed media background so here I am now I've got some of that beautiful Heidi Swap metallic texture paste I, I love this product it's the metallic on on them is absolutely gorgeous it gives that little bit of sparkle it's quite a it's not overly thick and it's not gritty it's really a smooth product so it gives that shine and smooth little bit of an interest point there on your photo and you know the colors are amazing as everything Heidi Swap is so here I am just picking out the bits of the stencil that I want to use which are these little tiny polka dots and just using a palette knife there I'm just maneuvering around those little bits that I want and um and making sure that I'm seeing enough but once again I'm really trying for that little bit of a delicate magical magical feel in this layout so just a few spots here and there um, will do the trick yeah cleaning off my stencil with this product is um, a really great idea because that metallic texture paste it dries really smooth and you know I, and I didn't want any of my spots or any of my stencil the holes to be filled up with additional texture paste so just bear with me while I'm cleaning up there just a quick baby wipe is perfect for that Heidi Swap product I don't don't need to go and soak it in a bucket or anything like that just a quick baby wipe and that product just moves off straight away there just heat setting it now because I want to now start working on my photo cluster and I don't want when I put my photo cluster down to sort of smush those gorgeous little polka dots that I've got there so I've just set it aside to dry and just finish off let that heat so I, like step away from the product and cool it down there adding a little bit of foam tape to add some dimension and then I'm going to add my flower clusters around the outside and then start layering up some of those beautiful butterflies how gorgeous are these colors the pinks the teals the the oranges and the peaches and with a little splash of yellow um, it's a really lovely lovely collection that 
is um, really user friendly and works with any kind any kind of layout. Even with the teal, if you only went and fussy cut all the teal fo- teal flowers out, you'd be able to incorporate that into a masculine layout as well. These are foam. Um, I'm not sure what she calls them, but foam titles. They're like a thickers. Um, they're they're spongy. They're just like thickers, and they work really well. Um, this is that that was exciting because I don't think Coco Vanilla have done any kind of thicker title words yet, and so it was fun to pick these up in that wonderful font that um, is that matches the entire collection. I love good scripty fonts. Yeah, and I love although working in dark colors can be a little bit scary sometimes a really dark title like this provided it doesn't take away from the photo is um can work magic on a layout and it can really help draw your eye to the photo as well when it's positioned correctly here i am just wanting to play around with a little flare button i struggle with flare sometimes i end up putting it on but then I think it looks too bulky and I often this happens with me on layouts I often just try and put it somewhere and then think no it's not going to work so just coming in with a bit of wet glue just putting some adhesive on the center of the back of the photo so the little butterfly wings pop up and kind of bring this layout to life the 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 little tiny butterflies have come out of the six by eight paper stack which was a whole sheet of those and the bigger butterflies came out out of a whole sheet of the 12 by 12 inch paper which was just full of all these different colored butterflies so spending a little bit of time fussy cutting those meant that I had a good collection and a good range of colors to be able to pick from and make sure that each of them were in that perfect spot where they need to be and I didn't have too many butterflies of the same color near each other even that one I thought that'd be cute if a little one was just resting on a big one there they're sort of flying in and saying hello so here you go. Here's my layout. It's, you know, I'm wrapping it up now. I'm going to come in shortly with a black pen and add some little polka dots around there. Once again, just trying to bring the magic to this layout and um, think of other little ways that I can make this layout delicate. And yeah, I really love how this has come together. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I go with my spots. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you like my scrapbooking style and my videos. I hope they inspire you to get out some mixed media products and just have a go at putting something like this together. Um, if you would be a subscriber, that would be great. Any of my new... Um, existing subscribers thank you thank you so much for supporting my channel it means the world to me and i hope this layout has inspired you to get creative all right guys keep scrapping and most importantly take care okay bye